use of uh, white money for paying the good fees of some of our food bills. We wish him a very happy birthday and may the, may the Lord bless him and prolong his life on earth. Jesus name. So you guys, White Money celebrated his 31st birthday yesterday being the 6th of June and he got lots of gifts courtesy of the White Money Gang worldwide. Guys, this White Money Gang no be small people low. When you hear White Money Gang, just know that they are swimming in money because they really, 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 really surprised their fave that yesterday. Hmm. Some of the gifts that White Money got yesterday were 100k in cash bouquet, a check of 37 million Nera, a 3 million Nera all expense paid trip to Dubai. It did not stop there, oh guys. They also went ahead to get him um, a piano set as the musician where you been. I know, see, why money Sabi play um, piano where well, well, if you watched um, the reality TV show Bibi Naija, you know that White Money actually knows how to, you know, he knows it very well. So they surprised their fame with um, a piano set. They also got him a barbecue grill. Guys, you know, see White Money Sabi cook well, well, so they want him to go and cook and enjoy himself. <laughs> so guys, like White Money really got a lot that uh, yesterday. So congratulations White Money money as you celebrate your birthday and we wish you many more years to come in good health okay more winnings and many more so guys please don't forget to send in your hearty better wishes for white money okay and yeah reunion day three is still all about amiable moments okay Alright, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for always tuning in to watch my videos. In case you're new here, my name is Lizzie. You're welcome. And even OG, you know how we do it. Thank you so much for your continual love and support. Okay, so before we dive right into today's video, as always, please make sure to click on the like button. Okay, like this video. Thank you so 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 much. All right, guys. Arin and Nini were at each other, guys. Nini was complaining about how Arin left a comment on Cross's page and how it had a huge influence this time around negatively on their friendship. Um, this was brought about by the question that Angel asked Nini. You know, when the previous video, Angel was like complaining that um, Nini didn't speak up for her when they were having that conversation in the executive lounge, okay? And she asked Nini if the discussion was about Arin, would she had shut it up? But Arin now mentioned that she wouldn't, so they now brought up this particular thing, talking about how um, Arin this time around was talking about how Nini wasn't giving her the vibe again when they came out from the biggest house. You know, she was just referring herself from her, in as much as they had this kind of friendship in the house, okay. But it wasn't like a long term because you know when Arin was evicted from the house. But when they now came out from the house, biggest house, um, Arin was like. Sh like Nini wasn't giving her the vibes, okay? But she was thinking that maybe it was because, you know, when she was in the house, people didn't like her like that. So when Nini now came out, she was thinking that, okay, maybe she was now doing it because, you know, she wants to distance herself. She doesn't want Aaron to transfer that negative energy to her and people will now not like her, you know, kind of, that kind of thing. But Nini, on the other hand, was just saying that um, she was annoyed because Ari left a comment on Cross's page when she and Cross was you know having some issues so Aaron was now supporting Cross you know but now Aaron was like saying she you know how the thing works that she is not the only person signed into her account so obviously she was not the one that left that comment but you know they are trying to spread love and light and Nini on the other hand was like saying if you're my friend stand with me don't stand with another person when we are having issues okay but now Aaron guys I know I'm talking about Aaron and Nini <laughs> but now Aaron was now like saying Saying that okay girl you know me in person I cannot do that you know I cannot in real life this is social media okay she understands how this thing works but Nini was not taking it like that she was even saying that she would have you know declined her um, her invites when she invited Aaron so she would have declined it and said she wasn't coming but why was she for crying out like why would she wait for you know 
till reunion before she can voice out that Nini wasn't giving her the vibe. So Nini just ended up calling Arin an attention seeker. So when they now called in um, Saga into the kind thing, because everyone was like saying, I didn't understand what these people are, say, are talking about. That obviously maybe Saga will come in and you know explain more what's really going on. So Saga was now like saying that Arin and Nini loves each other very much. That that moment was because you know when you come out from Biggie's house, a lot of stress on you a lot of things people will be talking so many things in your ear different things and you don't even know the person to trust again so that maybe that was what happened between Aaron and um and nini moving on boma was labeled a kiss and tell guys <laughs> if you remember that moment that angel and boma you know were in the executive lounge and after everything they now kissed before leaving but boma told angel not to tell anybody about it which angel said he obliged okay but boma went ahead to you know tell perry which he told angel not to tell anybody Queen said she didn't call Boma any kiss and tell her. What she just said was that Boma was a kind of a corny person. He wasn't a straightforward person. He was just trying to, you know, hit the head of Angel with that of Queen together. But Tega, on the other hand, was defending uh, Boma in as much as she also said that Queen didn't say he was a kiss and tell from a malicious aspect. Okay, so. That was that for um angel and boma after everything boma was now seen you know apologizing to um to angel and they were cool okay but you see that of angel and maria hey it was just a talk of war <laughs> See, AJ was like telling Maria that you are slut shaming her, whereas you were out there, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, benching red man out there. Guys, it was not funny. So, Maria was now like, mm, don't even, don't even dare me to tell, you know, don't even dare me to tell what happened in Dubai, okay? If you just want me to tell it, let me tell it. AJ was like, oh yeah, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, spill the tea, but Maria didn't say anything that moment. It was after um, the reunion was done airing that Maria now, you know, came to her to her page on the bed app and started calling Angel a one dollar <sighs> guys. So an Angel that you know responded and was like, "Yeah, your girl. Uh, damn it, my catch is." single okay whereas they're just friends okay but you know you know hannah you know angela that she goes to off she goes to off if you know what off mean <laughs> so but guys it was just between this angel and maria kind of thing it was just too much and everybody was like tell us what happened in the dubai yo. we want to hear what happened in the dubai yo. and all oh, yes they're just like you know putting head here putting here trying to know if there is a story that will come out from maria's mouth but you realize there's some persons actually knew what happened in dubai that's maria's vvip fans <laughs> so they now spilled the tea a little of what happened in dubai but before i tell you guys what i said let's first of all look at um you know i know some of you don't know kevin so the vvip fans just showed us kevin the person that has been trending more than some of the housemates in the house guys Now you guys have seen the curving that we are talking about and guys, not Marian's fans saying that um, Angel's fans should go and cry the more whereas Korea, like they call them Kelvin and Maria, Korea works even stronger, okay? And that's even Maria saying that uh, she thinks she should be roasted every day, mm -hmm. like though, so that she will get more pamper from her man, like the one that she got today. Her man was like, mm, my baby, let me spoil you again. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> anyways um i know your your ears are itching to hear what happened in dubai so some of the marians vvip fans just told us 
from what they said guys because i wasn't there in dubai i didn't travel with them they said that angel was out with kevin's friend that night um in dubai started bad mouthing maria to him and the guy dumped her silly ass AJ wants what Maria has so bad. And another person now said, I was talking to Angel now. Um, Madame saying husband snatchers. Maria refused to introduce her to Kelvin's friend. Then she ended up getting scammed in Dubai. That's why Lydia her poop eating bestie is mad too. But let me be quiet. Time day, guys. Guys. This war between the Marians and uh, the Archangels. I don't know when it's going to stop, actually. So I think it's supposed to be like a reunion kind of thing when they settle their differences and all that. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on between these two people. Anyways, I hope they get, before the reunion ends, they'll get to sort out their issues and reconcile and, you know, be friends again so guys um i think we'll stop here for today thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget i want to hear your own opinion concerning this reunion day one day two day three what do you think about the whole thing and most especially the day three of this reunion let me know your own um view okay let's converse in the comment section and please don't forget to like this video and also share the video as well all right guys uh for more updates for more gist like this please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and turn on the bell okay so you won't miss any uploads and i'll see you guys in my next one i think this video has you know it has gotten so lengthy <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next one until then keep staying safe okay bye bye don't want to sleep in because i got something to prove i gotta take what i hate and finally make a move i think of you and all the sh you don't do well i'ma make hella shit